Hello, and welcome to USF 2000 here at Watkins Glen. It is Monday night, and the week is just changing over. I've found that the USF 2000 is a great series to start off the uh, the week, because it changes right at uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's, uh, you know, right when the schedules start switching over, we got a race going off. And I can get this done in time for ARCA, which is going to be at Old Atlanta this week. That's going to be really fun. I'm excited for that. But for now, we got some road racing to do at a, a pretty familiar track. Now, I'm thinking maybe these cars might be a little underpowered for Watkins Glen. I think there's going to be a lot of draft. But still, uh, lots of uh, fun corners. Maybe some good racing to be had still. Um, of course, the uh, the bus stop is always fun. I enjoy driving through there, trying to get the most out of the car. Heading through that part of the track. Right now, I'm just making sure that the tires get up to temp, so this thing can grip up a little bit. We'll do like what everybody does in all the pace laps everywhere. <laughs> do a little bit of swerving. Set that speed, so maybe it actually is doing something. But I, uh, I'm the number two. I was actually lucky enough to follow behind the guy who was the number one in this race um, during the open practice beforehand. Maybe learn a thing or two. For example, I learned that I am not going to be keeping up with him. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I get lucky and like I make no no major mistakes and. Uh, stay in his draft or something like things just go just right maybe I can stay in his draft but I think otherwise he's gonna be pulling away from me I under drove that pretty bad but also still got on the curb which this car does not like curbs so that wasn't a very good turn one but that's okay um, don't think I'm gonna be keeping up with the, the number one car but iRacing says I'm not supposed to anyway so that's fine I just kind of want to survive. It's going to be a bit of a draft fest, I think. Huge draft in these cars and long straightaways for it to happen. Here. Man, it really hates those curbs, too. I just hit them a couple times as well. It's not like that. Trying to minimize that, but thankfully it's not wrecking me, at least for now. I'll just get some laps in, see where it takes me. That felt pretty good. I've never been all that great in this car, but I loved racing Watkins Glen, so even if I'm slow, I should be able to find some fun out of it. Oh my gosh, this thing's not turning. That was a little scary. It was not willing to turn that whole quarter. This is a pretty scary corner right there. Something about that exit really gets it unsettled. It wants to spin on you if you're not too uh, careful. If you go a little bit too much on the throttle, it will like try to spin on you there. So, gonna watch out for that. And uh, we'll see if we can improve on the first lap here. What are we gonna set? At 150. That's not good. <laughs> that's not a very good lap. But, should be faster this time, especially after I had a terrible turn one last time. That was even worse than I thought. I lost a lot of time in turn one. So, um, hopefully we should be able to beat it. I'm going to keep in fifth gear until we kind of crest over that hill there and then switch to sixth. And then we'll probably be going like 15 miles an hour faster in the draft <laughs> down this into the bus stop in the actual race. So that's fun. Ooh, still hit the curb a little bit much, but that's okay. Maybe under drove the carousel. That was okay. We're still four tenths up on our session optimal. Try not to overdrive this. I have a bad habit of overdriving that corner and I think I kind of 
swung it in the opposite direction there and then under drove it. But as long as I'm not going off in the grass, I guess. And it really likes to push wide here. I'm sh I should be able to save some time by not pushing out wide this time. Oh, I meant to go to second gear, dang it. Oh well, I don't think it actually hurt me. That might have worked just as well, actually. I mean, to, I usually go to second gear there, though. And then I underdrove the last corner. And uh, it'll still be better, at least. Alright, what we got? We got a 149.6. I stayed at fourth, which makes me worry that I am <laughs> the slowest of four people that took laps. No, that is not the case. Okay, I was a little worried. Because when it didn't change, I'm like, uh-oh. I'm really off pace or something. Yeah, there goes that one, 148.3. It was kind of hard because of the how the draft is here. It was kind of hard to tell like what qualifying laps were going to look like because it was, you know, in the practice, you're like, did they get that lap with draft or did they do that on their own? So that was kind of hard to tell, but... Yeah, I think if I manage to not hit any curbs through there, it's better. This thing just starts... I mean, you just rip up the bottom side of the car, it feels like, when you start hitting curbs in this car. So we'll, we'll stay out here, get a little bit more experience. Not quite as competitive in this car as I am in a Mazda or Formula V. Um, or sometimes in the Toyota. Sometimes I'm off pace in the Toyota GR86. Sometimes I can kind of keep up with the faster guys in the top split, but not usually. That car is still a work in progress. This car, I'm usually not near the top. In fact, usually I'm spinning. <laughs> but uh, if I can avoid spinning, maybe I can uh, put some decent laps in. I think I'll probably be better here than I am most places, just because I'm more familiar with Watkins Glen. Right now, holding a P5 and qualifying. I'm so worried about going off um, past the you know curbs on the left side of turn one here. I, I think I underdrive turn one a lot. But when you get on to the curbs, I mean, you saw what happened the first qualifying lap. I just, you start bouncing and you lose like three tenths because you're flat out all the way until you get to the bus stop. So looks like we're about middle, middle speed, which on one hand, at least I'm not the slowest, but on the other, now I'm going to be right in the thick of it. So I know I have to be careful. All right. Well, let's do this. We did get it to split. You don't normally get very much participation in these cars, but I know we had at least like 16, 17 people, I think. It must have been something like, you know, a little over 20 or around 20 or something, if it split from here. So I know we had more than 12. Well, that's good, that's good. I changed my brakes, right? Yeah. I always put my brakes back a little bit, so that way uh, I'm not locking up the tires as much, potentially. Pit road is closed right now. And sometimes you can use just a tiny little bit of brake, get it turning. That's a good way to get it spun around too, so you gotta be careful with that. So I have have been here before, so I have all time optimals and stuff. That's all with draft though. So that's why I wasn't using my all time optimal in qualifying, for example. Get a quick drink before we start. Oh, we're starting now, though. Better hurry. Okay, we're good. Everyone got into the car. They're ready. It's a new week. Everyone wants to get done. Get it done. Get the first race of this combo. Get it going for the start of the week. Pretty excited, though. I think this will be a fun race. Hopefully, if we can survive long enough. I think uh, Ark is going to be fun. And then Vegas. It's Vegas week for NASCAR. 
I like a lot of the stuff going on this week, so. Pretty excited. Should hopefully be a good one. A good week of racing. E5, so we'll be on the inside, quote unquote, I guess. We'll be watching the guy on the right up there. I'm a little worried about being run over on entries, because I feel like I'm pretty soft on entries in general. Any ounce of speed I do have usually comes from trying to get a good run off the exit, which is good and all, but if you're getting destroyed from behind, it's kind of hard to have a good exit. <laughs> getting destroyed from behind on en entry usually does not lead to a good exit of the corner. You usually don't get to the exit of the corner if that happens. Especially in this car. This thing's fragile. These things are made of paper. Which, you know, punishes you if you're going to make mistakes. So there's, there's good in that. You do get a fast repair, but I think if you get wrecked in any capacity, you're probably going to have to tow with this thing. Unless you're right by the pits and you don't have a wheel popped off or something. Running to this, we would lose about 17 I rating if I finished 5th, which is disappointing because I feel like 5th would be a pretty great run for me in this car. I would be happy with that. So, I'll have to ignore those numbers. I feel like I almost just got run over from behind by a guy freaking out. He looks like he has a spider in his car. Like he saw it crawling on his glove while he was driving and then he started freaking out or there's like a wasp flying around his head I swear that's what it looks like sometimes the guys are doing weird stuff on the pace laps they watch just centipede crawl into their sock Ooh, now I've got the heebie-jeebies freaking myself out They can't leave me alone with my thoughts on these long pace laps. Psyching myself out. Thankfully, we're almost there. Not quite as bad as uh, Road America and the GR86 last week, but still would prefer we start a little closer, but we're going. We're going now. Okay, Gosh, why did that guy just turn right? Green flag, green flag. Nice block. You knocked your wheels out of alignment. What an idiot. Your front wing is damaged. <laughs> what a moron. I don't even know who that was. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing on the car there. You start, okay. I guess the wasp was still in that guy's cockpit. Whatever. I don't even feel sorry for that. Car is a little broken. Oh my god. I don't even know if he's mad at me or who's mad at who. I actually don't care. <laughs> See, if you're gonna be doing that, I, I genuinely don't care. So the car is not driving quite right. It's not turning, well, to the right. So it's not driving right. So that kind of stinks. Our race got ruined before we even really got to the first turn. That's always fun. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. I don't know how you guys think climb wheels before the start. Okay, this guy's spinning. Jesus. Get it together, man. So, what place are we in? I don't even know. Sixth place. Sixth place. Okay, fifth place. 
<laughs> uh, I haven't seen that happen with the curb. I know it doesn't really work too well with this car, but I uh, haven't seen quite that yet. Thankfully, it doesn't look like we're bad on speed. I think we've just got some problems with the handling. Get session optimal up. See what we can do. Pretty good bus stop. Happy with that. Almost overdrove it. Good. But if that if that was the guy mad at me at the start, like what are you doing swerving back and forth, man? Like first of all, pay attention to the leader and go when it's time to go. And if you don't, don't start swerving back and forth. Trying to block the people that actually were paying attention. Blocking is against the sporting code, lest we forget. So, do not care if that guy was mad at me. Really struggling with some of these turns. You got, like, the wheel knocked out of alignment message and all that. So that's unfortunate. And I definitely feel it. It's not terrible, but it's not helping me on speed at all. So we'll let this uh, 7 behind us get by. Maybe he could bring us some speed with... Uh, Some draft. I imagine he'll get around me pretty easy here soon. Especially because right now he has the draft. Right side. There he goes. Stay on the left. Clear. Colton. Come on, mate. Tried to back out for him so he could have a better entry on the bus stop, but I was kind of lazy about it. <laughs> Probably should have backed out sooner so he didn't have to slow us both down with a bad entry. I kind of made that happen, but oh well. So we'll latch on to the 7, see what we can do from here. Uh-oh. Lap car, I think, so that's not going to help us. Unfortunately, I lifted a little bit. <laughs> And the guy ahead did not. So we might lose our drafting partner. Oh no. Come back. This car doesn't turn very well. I need you on the straightaways to make up for it. Gets up on that curb. That really, I really do think that breaks your momentum. I don't think that's what you want to do. Got a hint of that draft. Should be able to probably reel it in about almost half a second, I bet. So from 0.9 to... Oh wow, not nearly as much as I thought. I thought it was going to be much more than that, but we are kind of far away. <laughs> Went kind of aggressive on the bus stop there, but it worked out. Why do we have a lap car behind us? He's not going to try to battle us, is he? I hope not. Looks like he's about to run me over. Left side. Boing. Why is he battling us? Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Left side. Still there. That's freaking annoying. Keep to the right. Clear. Alright, you better go. You're going to be battling people in the lead lap for no reason. 
One of my biggest pet peeves, man. It happens constantly. Just 100% selfish. The race is over. And there he goes. He's missing the exit there. So now we're going to wait for him. The captain says turn up ahead is increasing. It's now 1.2 seconds. Half distance. Fuel looks good. Sector 1 is 0.3 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.8 off the pace. Catch some draft here, though. You got a slow car on the right. Oh, is this a spot? Come on, Colton. <sighs> that car must took me out. But I think that was maybe a spot. I think that was P3 that did that. I'm gonna need that four to go away. We have anything for the seven. I feel like some corners I've got a little bit more speed, but others I'm having trouble with comparatively. Apparently, that's the first time I've taken that corner correctly all race. Oh, we're wide. It's okay. That just means I'm carrying more speed, right? You're back in fourth position. Fourth place. All right, I'll take that. That's where I end up. I'm okay with that. Maybe I am down on power a little bit. Like, I'm not really even catching the guy ahead with draft. Oops. <laughs> Miss shift. Finger slipped. Alright. Hey, four. Maybe don't almost wreck in front of me this time. Theoretically, this could help us if we're using some of his draft, but he's driving off pretty quick. It does seem like I've got, like, some aero damage or something. Just looking at the speed on the straights. Maybe this isn't so great for us. Probably got, like, a damage front wing, maybe, or something? I think it would tell you if that was the case. Doesn't it normally say your front wing is damaged? I don't know, but the 7 had a bad corner, though, I think. Well, the four wrecked the seven, trying to pass him for no reason. Two left to go. Two to go. He's going out wide, trying so hard to pass someone that's not even on his lap. There he goes. So selfish. Two laps remaining. Just, your race is ruined, so you gotta interfere with other people's. Nah, man. And I think we're missing something on these straightaways. This doesn't seem like very. This doesn't seem right. They're going side by side through the bus stop. I'd be really mad if I were the seven. I'm not even gonna feel good if I catch the seven now. And there goes the four spinning. 
glad he can't mess with our race anymore. It's completely pointless. Oh, turn car. Jesus. I think the seven should get away. Like, look, he's pulling away on the straightaway, even though we're like, we got a little bit of his drive. I don't think that doesn't seem right. And I probably had a bad exit on that other corner, but I don't know. Gap two, turn up ahead is now 0.9. Giving it my all though. See if we can get on the podium. Go out of the wine. Point six away. See, I should be catching up to him right now. Just doesn't feel like it's happening. Had a pretty good turn one. And then his draft. Doesn't it seem like I should have more speed than this, though? I don't know. Let's go on defensive. I don't think I really even want to try to pass him here. I'll make him take it a weird way. Maybe he'll mess up. Oh my god. Really slowing down. I was just going to let him go. And he slowed down so much I almost ran into him. Oh my god, why is he going so slow? Made me lock up my brakes. I was ready to take that corner as normal, and he was all of a sudden really slow. I had to get on my brakes more. Don't throw this away. I'm happy with a P4 if I can get it. Don't make me wreck. <laughs> when I say don't make me wreck, I'm talking to myself. Job, Mike. The leader's just done a mm -hmm. point one. Right here. Oh, we got kind of tight. Oh, it wasn't enough. Almost got him though. Well done, right. good, good race, good win. Nice run, solid work. I think I got net footed for X there on the start. The park's right behind me. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at the beginning. I am curious to see what exactly happened. Maybe it was on me, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't blocking, but... Yeah, like, what is this guy doing? Yeah, good riddance. Bye. <sighs> he wasn't the guy yelling, I don't know who it was. I know this guy, like... Completely kills the first turn or something. Like, what is this guy doing? He's just blocking the whole track. And then he d Wow. Was he coming after me because he was upset that I didn't play his blocking game and then he hits the wrong person? What a moron. A1.0. Bye, A license. Should never have had it in the first place, clearly. Wow. That is, uh... Disgusting! Yeah. Guy battling for no reason. Giving damage. I wanted to try to get it, obviously, try to get the best finish I can, but...
Yeah, <laughs> harassed is a good word for it. <laughs> we just got harassed. Uh, and then this is just murder. Yeah, that was a good race. Yeah, a good race to the seven for sure. We had a very close finish. That was pretty exciting. I guess maybe it was a little closer, uh, a little not as close as I thought, but it felt close. <laughs> There's that guy that uh, spun right in front of us. I shouldn't laugh, that stinks. Very unfortunate, it just completely snapped on him. Oh my goodness. He might have not gotten damage from that. I think he did though. I think that right, uh, the left front wheel might have gotten broken from there. From that tiny hit. No, no, there's this guy. Ran into trouble at the start because of someone else, but can't blame that on anyone. And then he's just driving backwards. Some questionable things I'm seeing in this race. To be blunt. Yeah. A little bit net Cody there, but he should be battling for uh, against him anyway. And then he's spinning in front of him. No good at all. No good, no good. Icky gross. Disgusting. And that's it. So, uh, some uh, odd driving decisions from other people this race, but we survived for a P4. Only 4x we had was from that start. Congrats to the 1 for driving away from all that nonsense and getting the only 0x. Um, it was still fun. There were a lot of chances that could have turned very not fun. And uh, I don't play those blocking games at the start, so I guess I just hit the guy. And I uh, feel no remorse, <laughs> but uh, that'll do it here for Watkins Glen. I have to go catch the Arca race coming up soon, so I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.